Hello everybody, my name is Markus Nietzsche and I am working as a usability engineer for Enterprise. In this video I will give you a short introduction to some of the main features of the Halo extension. This is an extension for Semantic Media Wiki and has been implemented as a part of Project Halo. If you are logged in to a wiki which has the Halo extension installed, the first thing you should do is to set up your preferences. First of all, please go to the Skin tab and ensure that you have the Onto Skin enabled. Afterwards, switch to the Misc tab and choose if you would like to use automatically triggered auto completion or not. In my case, I would like to use the auto triggered auto completion so we can start using it right away. Our starting point for this demonstration will be the article about hydrogen. Let's have a look on what we can find about hydrogen in this wiki. This is the article about hydrogen. As you can see, it looks exactly the same way as it does on Wikipedia. However, if you enter the edit mode of this page, you will immediately recognize some major differences. On the right hand side we have the semantic toolbar. This toolbar provides various tools for annotation and creation of wiki articles and it also offers tools for orientation within an article and the whole wiki. On the left hand side you can see that the standard text area was replaced by a syntax highlighting editor which highlights categories, links and annotations in the text. You can also switch off the syntax highlighting editor in case you don't need it or if you don't want to use it. Let's have a closer look at some of the tools provided by the Halo extension now. For example, I know that the article about hydrogen does not contain an annotation of its atomic mass so far. Therefore, I search for it in the text and start adding the annotation with support of the auto-completion facility. This offers various completions and here I find the atomic weight and add it to the wiki text. I close the annotation and right after that you can see the new annotation with its value in the semantic toolbar on the right side. If you want to alter an existing annotation, you can use the semantic toolbar as well. If you are, for example, at another place in the wiki text, you can simply click the edit icon and change what you would like to change. There's no need to search for the annotation in the wiki text anymore. Confirm your changes and as you can see, the annotation in the wiki text is also updated. If there is something in the text that seems interesting to you and if you would like to gather more information about it, you can use the ontology browser. Therefore, just highlight the word, in my case I would like to know more about ammonia, and click the Open in Ontology Browser button. The ontology browser is one of the main facilities of the Halo extension and enables you to get an overview of the wiki ontology and browse through it easily. The ontology browser will show all annotations about a certain instance, here Ramonia. You can also use it in order to find out to which categories a certain instance belongs. In this example you can see that Ammonia is a base, a hydrogen compound and so on. The layout of the ontology browser is simple and clear and it should be as easy to use as a file system explorer. On the left side you have the taxonomy with all categories and the category hierarchy. In the middle you can see all instances that belong to a certain category and on the right side there are all facts that are available for a certain instance. Let's try out the ontology browser one more time and find out what there is in this wiki about chemical elements. I use the filter on top to uh, narrow down the results of the ontology browser and in my example I would like to know what the uh, atomic number of chlorine is. 
Therefore, I select chemical elements and in the instance view I filter for chlorine. Select it and in the property view I filter for atomic number. And here I see that the atomic number of chlorine is 17. Another way to gain information from the wiki is the combined search facility. With the combined search you can enter queries that are comparable to search engine queries on the web. For example, you could search for chlorine and its atomic number with atomic number in quotes. As you can see on the left side, there are still the standard wiki search results. On the right side, you get the combined search, which shows categories, instances and properties that have been found in the wiki. If there is an instance and a property that match your search, and if this property is defined for that instance, the combined search shows those results directly on top of the search result page. The combined search also produces potential candidates for useful queries. Let's say you would like to gather information about all chemical elements and their atomic number. Therefore, we enter those two concepts into the search box using the quotes again. As expected, the system found the category chemical elements and the property atomic number. At the bottom of the combined search, it offers a query for all instances of chemical elements which have an annotation of atomic number. Let's see what happens if I follow this link. So here we have a list of all chemical elements and their atomic number. Another feature that you can use in order to create queries is the query interface. The query interface allows you to easily create ask queries towards the wiki knowledge base without having to know the syntax of those queries. For example, I would like to have a list of all halogens which are in this wiki with their boiling points and their melting points. Therefore, I want to ask for all instances that are in the chemical series of halogens. and I would like to display their boiling point and their melting point. Please note that again I'm supported by the auto-completion facility throughout creating this query. On the left side of the query interface you can see the query tree navigation which allows to navigate through the query and apply changes. At the bottom you can see the query layout manager which allows you to change the layout of your query results. In my example I would like to sort the results using the boiling point. You can now preview the result of this query and as you can see you get all the halogens with their boiling points and melting points sorted by the boiling point. These were a few of the features we have implemented in our Halo extension. I hope you enjoyed this little presentation and please feel free to download the extension on SourceForge and try it all out. We are looking forward to see what kind of wikis you will use with our extension and of course we are also looking forward to your feedback.